for coming, man. It's been a great set, six days. Yeah. We, went, we went camping recently. That was sweet. We got a lot of footage of that. We got, that the, we got there at nighttime. Most of it was not camping. Most of it was trying to find a campsite. And repairing a car. Well, you know, what's that, <laughs> say, what's that saying? The, the well, adventure is, is the, the journey. The journey. The destination's all shit. Listen, man, there was a few hiccups in the road, but now we're there. A few hiccups. Let's talk about those hiccups, what right? Was the, what would you say would be the first hiccup? Bro, I meant to be interviewing you, man. You tell me what the hiccups were, bro. Well, I just Why wanted... are you talking like that? Because it's like <laughs> the <Shut> fun <laughs> character. <laughs> the, fir the first hiccup, I would say, would when, was when we were pulling in. We just got the van uh, that we rented. It's a beautiful van. We got you got. It her. looked like shit, bro. Um, how many vans bro. do you see like that? It's very original. Wait, it's authentic. I, I think before that hiccup, the big one was when he was swerving on purpose without a license. Before that, even I. Uh, <laughs> You're thinking when we're on the lot and we're picking it up. It we're we're picking we're picking up this van. Well, how racist was the guy giving it to us? Yeah, what was up with that? The dude was like, yeah, you know, the guys last time didn't clean it out. <laughs> Mexicans. There's, yeah, there's no fuel in it. Mexicans. I'm like. Like, We're what? in Australia. We don't have Mexicans. He, he was trying know. to relate to our like American sensibility. Just, That's what it was. Yeah, you see, like, he like looked up for like it. a look of approval too. He's like Mexicans. <laughs> see, yeah, like, if I we thought, agreed. I, when I, I was sitting on the couch and I thought I heard it like that, then I was like. Is, did he actually say that? And no one else said anything until we're back here. I was just kind of quiet. And then you guys I was like, like, man. Well, because yeah. I, I feel like that's not very normal. That's not no, normal. That's, 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 right that's why it confused me because I'm like, we don't have Mexicans in Australia, so I don't really know what kind of stereotype you're aiming for. Or are you just being racist? He had such disdain in his voice, like Mexicans with an Australian accent. But basically, well, at least he has someone else to hate more now, Americans. Absolutely. And, and, and the reasoning for that is because I didn't know you guys couldn't drive. Okay. So I can drive. No, you can't. No, you can't, Chad. You legally cannot and, and drive. And we'll get to that in a minute. Law. What happens is Chad's like, hey, can I borrow your license uh, to rent this van? And I'm like, maybe it's like a, just like a backup thing. Sure. So I give him my California driver's license and I get there and I am the one that has to, I give him my license and my credit card and stuff. And then I realize like, oh, he thinks that I am the one driving. So I have to drive off the lot. So I've never driven. Australia drives on the left. We drive on the right. So I have to get in this van, this, this left-sided van, and drive it out of the lot down the street. And that was terrifying for me. I've never done that before. So we take it down the street, and I pull over, and I was like, all right, I can't do this. Chad, you're going to drive. Chad apparently only has his L's, right? But I've driven illegally heaps of times, man. Oh, that, that, made, that made me feel a lot better but when he said our, that. Our point is that you're doing it illegally. So, yes. Oh, was my driving Okay. No, no, you swerved on purpose multiple times. But did we crash when I swerved? But you did crash into something. But he did it too, so it's fine. No, no, no. Did Scott you... was trying to fix your mistake. <laughs> common, listen, common mistake when coming. Okay, just continue the story, bro. Just continue. What happened after common that? Common mistake. No, <laughs> let's hear about <laughs> the, the mistake. Did, did, common mistake. We'll get, we'll get there. So it's me, Max, Ryan. Uh, we're, we're, we're the three of us in the back seat. We got, we got Chad and Zuckles up in the front seat. And Chad's driving. He's goofing off. He's being a goofster. He's purposely swerving without a license, too. So, Which is not a funny gag to play under any circumstance, in my opinion. I was, While you're in a car? Not just a car. A van that's top-heavy. Like, so top-heavy to where there's a platform purposely built so people can get on top of it and have fun. There's, like, railings we, and shit. We would turn... Even normal turns, we could feel, like, the center of mass. Just, like... It felt like it was, like, the top felt like it was made out of cheap plastic, too, because you could, like, hit it and see it, like, jiggling. So, Chad's, like... Uh, 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 like doing these little jerks and we would all be like chad stop it that's not funny and the whole time max is looking at us he's like i'm, I'm just bracing for impact like it's gonna happen terrifying experience but basically we just had to take very simple task the van from the pickup lot to uh the the, the office it's a 20 minute drive right. put a nice little graphic of that put a map on that so we have to get from the van rental place to the office to pick up pick up scott over here very easy you know what? We get to the office. Everything went great. You know what? Chad did not crash the van. So we, we got to pull in to the office. And uh, okay, this is where I intervene. The corner on the office is <laughs> fucked. Like turning, unless you're turning in in some two door electric car that's the size of my car. So you had prior knowledge of small this car, yeah. before turning uh, in this I huge van. I had prior knowledge, but I thought I'd be a cocky person. Like, watch this, bro. I'll turn it. No problem. You're hoping you and just... And Scott, just to confirm... That's exactly the situation I see this happening is, on the this actual street when we die. I did it, right? With the delivery vans. The delivery vans have scraped the side of this door coming in heaps of times. So you thought at least you'd... Or at most you'd scratch it. I thought I nailed it, to be honest. And then... 
You did. Oh, you nailed you it. You nailed it really You kept well. going right through. Something got nailed. I look out this side window as he's swinging this turn, and I just see this <laughs> massive eight-foot-tall brick pillar approaching the window <laughs> at, at incredible speeds. And, and I, my brain had like half a second to process. I'm like, uh, I couldn't even say anything. It hits the side of the van. The window shatters into a million fucking pieces. And Chad's going, oh, oh. And Ryan's like, stop, stop. And it, the, the brick just <laughs> on the side of the van. Shatters the window, dents it. He, is, he was sitting next to the window. Yeah, Ryan, right, did you see my face? You, you I, were scared. I have, yeah, I have footage of your head next to it, I think. Obviously, none of us got it on camera when oh, it actually yeah. exploded. You should, you should put this clip in because it's great because you can see the van about to pull in. And it's like moments before a massive disaster. And then you see Scott suddenly start running down the steps because he's he's he realizes like shit, I need to tell him not to swing in on that turn because he's gonna scrape up the van. Yeah, leave the van outside the fucking And we, we have footage of right afterwards before we had parked and the window had just shattered. Because it's that type of glass that's designed to if it gets a crack, the whole thing it, shatters. It, it like shatters into a million little pieces and stays like that. And you cut your hand trying to Chad's like, oh, we'll just tape it up and still go camping. Well, he was like poking at it and running his finger through the broken glass. I was like, glass. it's fine, man. Just buff it out, bro. Yeah, there was a lot of hiccups on that road. But, but, it but was, you saved the day. It was fun. By calling up a we, I found a window repair place, and it was a 2007 van, so it was, I called three places. One place said we had the window. They fixed it. It took them 20 minutes to fix it. We did our shopping. Those guys did a good job. It was very quick. There was scratches down the side of the car, car which... Is fine. Because you know, it, it, it's it will. It wasn't anything like a hand painted van with unique art on the side, so the scratches weren't really a big deal. It was spray painted on by some hippie, bro. <laughs> it looked like shit. <laughs> I did him a favor by scratching up the van. Full disclosure: I fixed the window. I when I drove it back into the lot because we returned it after hours because they said we could. I returned it without a license. I told the police. That's awesome, dude. You need to get like your full license. I'm done. Chad, how old you are you? Start putting out all these. Chad, I got my license internet. when I was 15. Suck my cock and balls. I returned the. I returned the van. I told him what happened. He said, "Hey, you've replaced the window. It's fine. I've gotten vans in worse condition. They said they're only going to charge my card. So they put, I had to go put my card down before I left. They're going to retint the window, which was he said would cost a hundred bucks after the three hundred dollar window replacement. And he said something about the paint job, like, oh, whenever the vans go through this certain town, is one of the guys that spray paints them. So he says whenever the vans go through, they respray paint them with either different stuff or they touch, touch them up. Them. So he said that won't cost you any money. And he, and when the guy also when the guys put in the new window, they also buffed out all the dents from where I came in. So the guy didn't even notice it was meant to be like dents in the car. But that wasn't also that wasn't the only hiccup that occurred, though. What else happened? What do you uh, mean? What else happened? There the, are, you, are, you, are, you forgetting, are you forgetting the part where we showed up to the campsite with the gates closed and it's saying that Listen, we cannot go inside? I could not have uh, predicted wait a minute. that. How, and how long did we drive for? We drove for about I'd say w the whole journey took about around two hours, two to three hours. Yeah. yeah, and it was dark at this point because we were supposed to get to the campsite uh, on the coast. And, and have a, a, a great time and have all day filming. See the kangaroos when the, the sun was setting. See the sunset. No, now it's dark. We're driving through the woods. And it's oh, hours not just later. woods, bro. We're driving up windy hills. And, like, you look off to the side and you can see a, like, drop where the, the cliff drops off. And Scott was driving. Scott's ass was flying. Scott was just speed racing that shit. You did good, though. You did very. You yeah. did better than Chad. <laughs> well, hang on. Can we just also mention, when we did leave the office again with Scott driving, he did the exact same thing that I did. Well, no, he was trying to... What do you mean he was trying to what? He still hit the Scott, side. You've got access I, to a mic, bro. The difference is that you did it recklessly where he was... He was trying just tr He was trying to... Because you shouldn't have even pulled it in in the first place. I don't think it was even good enough to... All right, let's just see what he says, bro. Chad's a fucking... Woo. Listen, bro, hiccup in the road. I did, maybe I did it on purpose Chad, for also, content. I heard Chad say it's just a hiccup in the road probably 50 fucking times that day. I was ready to... Yeah, I feel like there's a list of ones that I've already, like, you know, we've got the main ones. I think that a lot of little things happen that you fucked up on. A, a lot. So we, we get there, finally oh, like it's trying dark. to burn a whole log and say that it was going to make fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. made fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I made, the, the, I fucking made fire the fire. Saga. You maintained it. I was like the father. Oh. No, Chad, the Chad, 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 Chad. Ryan's over Ryan here with level 99 fire making level. I was gathering <laughs> sticks all night, bro. 
You did gather a lot of sticks. I will say you that did. you did help out. Main, you did help maintain After the fire. After I started with wood. drinking, I was like, "Bro, I'm letting that fire burn out. I'm not doing it." But so you let's took just over. call it what it is. You're the stick collector, bro. There's nothing to be ashamed of about that. There's hunters and guys. Every just, tribe needs just, one. He just has more skill with the actual fire making. Listen, he put in the extra effort. Okay? Well, no, if, and if, I if, thank him for that. It was a team effort, bro. We hey, he didn't together. just put in effort. He spent the rest of the night maintaining it for everyone else. <laughs> I gotta say, Ryan, that that meant so much. We're we're all sitting by the fire, just being drunk and stupid. And Ryan's out here with a little flashlight on his head, running into the the Australian bush to, to grab to grab sticks. I was and just, getting the sticks, bro. It Chad, was like, it we was all like, took um, turns to get sticks at some point. But who brought back the big loads? This Ryan. Guy. Well, Ryan we kept the fire going. Chad, you were the one that was like. Bro, we need to just put big logs on the fire. And Ryan was like, no, we need to build it wait, this specific way. My theory was <laughs> wait, wait, the wait, Amazon wait. forest burns. The bigger the burn, the longer the burn. That's not how that shit works, dude. You set you set like one log on fire, then just put a bigger log on top of it and just said, watch, it'll burn. And then it started going out to when it was almost pitch black. And you're like, no, just give it 10 more He's minutes. Like, give it it'll, 10 start, minutes. <laughs> it'll start to burn a Listen, lot Listen, I got the fire going. That's all that matters. And, and then Ryan's like, so you see all this white smoke? That's because it's going out. And Chad's like, no, nah, bro, give it, give it 10 minutes. You try to say that that was all part of the plan. Like you're supposed to burn it until it stops. It was part of my plan. No. Minutes, <laughs> He's like, and then it will, it'll reignite. And it did not reignite. So then Ryan, Ryan's ass gets up in there and he gets, he, he runs to the woods. He gets all these sticks. And Listen, he, all he I'm hearing these, is discrediting in my end. Anyway. Who rented the we'll van? We'll see all that. We'll see I all rented the van. Vlog. It was my license but and my credit card. For it, we'll man. see all this in both vlogs. Who also? Who this also, isn't a vlog, fuck camp car. It's a recap. Who else cooked all night? Who? Okay, Chad cooked some good I kangaroo did and some shit. Some effort, bro. While you, t you while you two sat around listen, with man, drinks in your hands, going, you cooked a big a bucket beater. of beans. You cooked a, a big beater. vat of beans. It was fun, but we had we had a fun time camping. We did, we yeah. did. Uh, we got to see a kangaroo. That's all I wanted just from the we, Australia trip. Was the kangaroo yeah. or a wallaby or what? It was a kangaroo. It was a kangaroo. We saw yeah. it very briefly. Yeah, it was like on the front. Well, my, in front my, of the alarm, van. my alarm, I fell asleep on the roof of the van. The alarm went off in the morning at 5 30, which was just sunrise. And I wanted to wake <laughs> you guys, but because I was so hungover on the top of this van and asleep, I was like, yeah. let him sleep. I got to tell you, dude, being inside that van and hearing you up on top, I was a little bit nervous. We all were. It was You could just hear this like, this shitty metal creaking. It's like, oh, that's that's Chad getting on top to take it. Like you were up there with your sleeping bag, and it was. <laughs> and you feel, I, I feel like like I could feel the air pressure changing from like the I, compression. I felt like I was in the early two thousands with like a poor like a like a fat joke and poor taste, where like they make things creak like extra. <laughs> like, I was like, this is like, like you a, could see it like bend a little. Well, why like, didn't you too? just let me sleep in the van with you guys? Because you snort, you like. They didn't let you. I never said anything about Dude, it. Dude, okay, the, the first night I'm in Australia, I... Uh, no, cut it off, bro. Not enough <laughs> about me, man. Well, we we're supposed to get an exile tent, like, to put you in, like, <laughs> isolation tent. But this isn't a podcast was... about me. This is about the guests. Stop fucking hammering me, man. <laughs> Chad, I'm sorry. Give me, give me, give me a cheers.